Hey guys, welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. This evening we're going to be doing a video for all you guys born in the year of the rooster. So welcome back all my rooster friends. How are we doing this week? Let's find out. Give these a shuffle up and down. Give them a bit of a move around. Pick three as always and see where we're at. Let's stop about there and we'll take that one from the bottom, we'll take that one from the middle, we'll take that one from the top. What have we got? Okay, so we have got two blacks and a white. So we're going to start off in those negative spaces, but we are going to be moving and shifting over into these uh, in this white positive direction. Don't fret though, don't panic, because as I've always said before, black is not always an attack, white is not always alright. It all depends on the uh, compatibility of the cards when we flip them over. And the first one we've got is the rooster card, a rooster card for a rooster person. There we are, and it's in the negative as well, which isn't necessarily a great start. That rooster card there is almost like a reminder. It's a reminder to kind of... See the best in yourself and and go with it and use those good sort of traits and I'd say better sides of your character now more than ever. I think it'd be so easy for you to be very critical, very judgy, very kind of uh, cold towards people, maybe push people out uh, or shut them out simply because you're kind, I don't know, kind of protecting yourself or you think that they deserve it or there's some kind of underlining issue. But realistically, what you need to do is look at more of your better judgment or your better intentions and look on the more, as I say, positive side because this negative tornado will pull you down if you allow it. And I think right now what's happening is, is you've got this uh, not black cloud following you around, but it kind of is. And it's almost like you've left it in the past or you've now moved on from it. And it's not following you and it's not there anymore. But it's it's kind of still roaring in the background. You can still see it when you look over your shoulder. You can still hear the, the thunder and see the flash of the lightning from this storm that is now behind you. As I say, it's not following you, but it's still in your vicinity. You can still sense it. You can still feel it. It's still there to remind you. And I think this is it, this is like a twister. It'd be so easy to just to pull you in, bring you right down. You'd crash, you'd spiral, you'd just start to, I don't know, maybe sort of just lose your temper with everybody, just get frustrated with everything, just kick off at everybody. Um, and it'd have to be your way or no way. There'd be no compromise, no negotiation. Um, and I don't think that's very beneficial. I mean, you can do that. Nobody's saying you can't. You're well within your right to do whatever you want. You can choose whatever you wish to do, but you cannot choose the uh, consequences of those uh, things that you choose to do. Just remember that. So I just don't think that it's advisable to be very chaotic or very sort of destructive at this time. And you need to look at the better side of your nature and find that bigger person that you, you know you are. That every rooster is, in fact. We've then got a negative rat card. So there is definitely something that we need to be looking at and uh, and concentrating on. That uh, rat card, it, it's it's one of kind of pre-planning, pre-empt attack. It's, it's making sure that you're prepared for whatever happens next, which could be anything. So it needs to be, it needs to be preparation for any eventuality. Problem with the rat and the rooster, difficulties in communications. And that's that's not good in this uh, sort of situation when you're already feeling like you've had enough. Like I say, you're already feeling like you could be pulled into this tidal wave, this tidal wave or this tornado. You're, you're being pulled into that where your whole attitude could just switch in a second. And then the communication just switches off. Being able to talk about it or express yourself shuts down and now you've got no outlet you've got nobody that can sort of understand what you're going through nor can support you because they don't sort of comprehend what it is that's actually happening because of the lack of communication here 
we need to make sure that those lines of communication are kept open and that they are available especially those closest to you because this rat is a card that symbolizes like sort of strong ties emotional ties whether it be family or relationship partnerships or whatever it's something or someone or you know things that are close to you and mean something to you on an emotional level so if you don't do things or you don't sort of pre-plan or put some sort of preparedness in place for the worst case scenario or for any eventuality that could make your consequences feel like you are being pushed into a um, tidal wave of despair um, then realistically yeah you need to look at your better side of things the better judgment the better character you do definitely a hundred percent because there's other people involved here or there could potentially be other people involved here it is an emotional thing. And that's probably why you feel so um, sort of dragged into it. Potentially this storm isn't even your storm. Potentially this storm has been created and has been put there by somebody else, which is now trying to drag you in. So being pre sort of planning for this and sort of being in a more prepared state for this could help you with not suffering with consequences. Or, or at least there will always be consequ consequences, but there'll be consequences that won't be as bad as they could have been because you were prepared, because you preempted it, because you already knew that there were things to do. But never fear, the dragon is here. Now that dragon is great to have at the end of this because that dragon is a part of your soulmate connection. So there's a soul connection here. This means it's meant for you. There's supposed to be um, trip hazards. There's supposed to be tests. There's supposed to be some sort of competition for you to figure out, a riddle to figure out. There's a puzzle here. And once you've done this, it's level up time. It will be moving on time. It will be coming to the next phase of where you're at. So of course you feel like the storm's behind you and that it's raging on because it is still behind you, but it's behind you. Because now you're moving forward into the next phase. Now you're pushing forward into the next bit. And in that next bit, in that next phase, there will be prosperity. There will be success. There will be happiness. You know, you have competence. You have a certain expertise, a certain enthusiasm. You have this certain confidence. And that's all going to play a part. These are the good things you need to focus on. You know, reduce the expectations. Mute the ego a little bit. And as you move forward, and as you push, and it will be a push forward, you will start to see where your good nature does have a big part to play. You'll start to see where, you know, um, being cooperative, being kind of considerate, being like, um, I suppose in some ways, the bigger person, the sort of on your high horse kind of person. Um, get on that high horse. Get on that high horse, honestly, Roosters, because you are... You are in this phase now because you're supposed to be here and and it is your, I suppose, like I say, your better side that is going to be the winner of this uh, competition. It'll be your better side that is that is going to be the resolution as we move forward. You are the key here. You are the key. Um, so, yeah. You are very much in, well, well within your right to be on your high horse. So you get on your high horse, you stay on your high horse, and you continue to do better. And, you know, we'll see how you get on with that next week, won't we, when we come back and do another reading for you guys born in the year of the rooster. I'll be back tomorrow for those born in the year of the dog and the pig. Yeah, the dog and the pig. I almost forgot there. Um, if you're interested, I'll see you then. If not, not to worry. I'll just catch you next week when we come back and do another reading for the rooster people. Thanks for watching, guys. Love and peace.